students in the Cyber Patriot team at Roosevelt High School have advanced to a national cyber defense competition. The team is made up of JROTC cadets and Engineering and Technology Academy students. In this week's Tech Essay, Tiffany Huertas has a look at how cybersecurity is making its way into the classroom and how it's helping children for their future. The flags vary in difficult from easy to hard. Ladies and gentlemen, good luck. I've always enjoyed computers and cybersecurity, and this kind of lets me apply it practically with like that competition element. This is the Cyber Patriot team. I'm looking for flags that look like this. I just found this one. They are preparing for a national competition. Nice job, all service. You picked up 10 points, man. That was a big flag. Congratulations. There's 10 points for all service. They are taking their talents to Baltimore, Maryland next month for the Cyber Patriot 11 competition. The school has competed for the better part of a decade. What they do every year is they provide the students with a set of operating systems. And those operating systems have vulnerabilities, they have viruses. As the students uh, go through these different operating systems, uh, it's their job to fix, configure, and secure those operating systems. And as they do that correctly, they receive points on a national scoreboard. Junior Fardeen Bimani competed since seventh grade. When you're, you're using your computer at home, you're really on the surface, you're just playing games, you're going on the internet. But here, I'm exploring in depth. Bimani is an ROTC and and the Engineering and Technologies Academy. I want to try Air Force Academy because they have, a, they have a strong cybersecurity program. Senior Hannah Hughes competed for four years. Working in Cyber Patriot was what allowed me to get an internship with HEB last summer. And so that, you know, that's, that's a huge help when you're applying to colleges. And she has the admissions letters to prove it. I've been accepted to uh, Yale and UT Austin, uh, two great schools. I'm super happy about it. The students also learned the valuable lesson of teamwork. Especially like listening to my teammates because they, they know a lot, they know other stuff than me. And so when combining those together, we can definitely find more stuff like that. Now there are more than 300 teams that compete in San Antonio and more than 4,000 teams competed nationally this year in the Cyber Patriot competition. Now these competitions deal with a lot of different things like teamwork, leadership skills. You develop so many different skills that you can use it right after you graduate. It kind of makes you feel good about the future, doesn't it? A little bit. You have these brilliant young minds that are so advanced in technology. We're going to need them as part of Homeland Defense. When do they head to Baltimore for our nationals? Next month. We'll have all the details okay. on the article and then more you can read about yeah. the competition itself because there's a lot of requirements that yeah. these kids definitely have to go through. And real quick, that one cadet that was um, kept into Yale and UT, I just have to say, hook them. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. Little plug is fine. Um, I wonder if these kids know that just down the road from Baltimore in Fort Meade, Maryland, is headquarters of the NSA. Well, there we go. And they recruit. They, they're always looking for, for people to help. I bet they, they're looking at these teams that That's are coming from across the country, especially our talent here in San Antonio. Very possible. Yeah, good luck to all of them. Tiffany, thank you thank for you. Tech SA.